Step one, getting started. First, we unstring the guitar with a peg winder and wrap up the strings to stay out of your work path or just trash them all together. You can use a drill to remove screws to save time, but to avoid stripping, use a screwdriver of the same size. Remove the pickguard and cut the wires connecting to the output jack, in this instance, the volume knob, and the black round wire that leads from the tremolo claw. Step 2. Under the hood. Now with the guard off, unscrewing the pickups will be easier. Be sure to keep all your screws in one place. Keep moving down the pickup configuration, all the way down to the humbucker, and again, keep your work area clean. Step 3. Prepping the pickups. We'll be following a general wiring pattern, which can be found online. In this instance, the green wire will be soldered to the bare. Strip the wire ends and tin the tips. Our black wire is the lead or live wire here. For the sake of looking cleaner, heat shrink tubing over electrical tape will keep your red and white wires, your north and your south ends, looking fresh. Be patient when trying to catch the threading on the pickup, while pulling the spring back and using your available fingers to hold everything in place. Repeat the process going upwards on the configuration for the single coils. Step 4. High Voltage Wiring Now that the pickups are secure, we have to connect the wires to the rest of the controls through our 5-way switch. This one is imported, and finding its paths can be tricky, but the concept is simply upside down. Behind the switch there should be visible paths, but if there aren't, think of it like this. Put the switch in the bridge position. A straight line from the bar's direction will make the first terminal closest to the humbucker being your bridge position on terminal 1. The two preceding will be for the middle and neck pickups, and the two after that will be your common output terminals. Next, we will solder all the ground wires from the pickups to the back of the volume pot. Do not shift connections or blow on the hot solder to prevent bad solder connections, and after the solder has hardened, test the wire strength with a few tugs. If you have cable ties handy, tie your wires together to screw the guard down easier later. Our last connections will be the first wires we cut leading from the output jack to the volume pot and the ground wire that connects to the tremolo claw. Step 5. Reassemble. Tuck the wires neatly underneath so that the guard lays flat and begin putting the screws where the controls are. If the strings are still new and have enough length, you can begin restringing to pitch. If you're looking for affordable hardware and electronics, come check out our online store at aeluthier.com. You can find this guitar used in the video and others at aeguitars.com. If you would like to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment.